Dopin. I had a really cool idea. <laughs> Today I'll show you how to build this professional looking DIY counterweight for your shoulder rig. It'll take less than five minutes less than two bucks. Here's what we'll need. We'll need two plastic peanut butter jar tops, one two inch long quarter 20 screw, one quarter inch nut, one can of black spray paint, a bunch of rocks, a screwdriver, a sharp dangerous object like scissors, a knife, or a wood screw, and a cigarette lighter. Let's get started. Okay, so we've got our two plastic peanut butter jar lids. Plastic, not metal. Um, and it'd be better if you got generic um, or ones that didn't have the brand name engraved on the top, etched in the top, because after you paint it, you'll still see Jif or Jiffy or Peter Pan or whatever on the top. And unless that's the kind of counterweight you want, a Jiffy counterweight, or a Peter Pan counterweight, um, then that's what I suggest. And for God's sake, clean out the insides. You don't want uh, flies flying around your shoulder rig while you're out doing a gig, unless you're into that sort of thing. So you don't really need tools. You need a um, lighter and a screw of some sort, which I probably didn't say in the list, but you know, that's how I roll. So you heat up the end of your screw, Need a pointy object that you can heat up simply to put a hole through the plastic very neatly. So I'm heating up the screw just enough not to burn my fingers but to help it go through the, um, the thing through this thing. So anyway, there's a little hole, a little divot dent in the middle to help you get started. This will be your pilot hole where well, the object is to make a quarter inch hole in the middle of both of these so while the screw is still warm go ahead and do your other one same way Use your screwdriver. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just simply to enlarge the hole. That will make it a quarter inch hole. And rather neatly, as you see, no drill needed. Same thing with this one. And then take your quarter inch nut, put it up through the bottom of one of them, like so. And I recommend, I didn't say this in the parts list, but I recommend some like scrap material or foam or something in there. What it does is help keep, keep it quiet so that you don't have basically a rattler instead of a counterweight. Put your other lid on there a little ways, not all the way, but just, just enough to, um, you know. Take your rocks, drop them into the bottom. Look, ugly rocks are cool too. Nobody's gonna see them. They need to participate. If you can't find any rocks out in your yard, oh my gosh, but 
You can go to Dollar Tree, a bag of rocks like these is one dollar. So anyway, put your rocks in there till it won't hold any more rocks. Put it on there like so. Alright, so you got your nut through there. Just put your nut on it. Tighten it down to where it's even. Where they come together. You can use a tool if you want to. And then you are ready for painting. You can paint it hot pink with purple polka dots. I don't care. I'm going with black. Ta-da. Let it dry. Then you take it, screw it onto a rod clamp using the same bolt and nut. And there you've saved a lot of money. And you have a ghetto peanut butter loving counterweight. If you've got ideas for a counterweight, I'd love to see them. Leave them in the comments below. Post links to your videos. Till next time. Hi, thanks for watching. Be sure to stop by joeyanderson.com for more cool stuff. Comment and subscribe. <laughs>